Supremely talented young players like Jager O'Meara and Theon Prestia and young Luke Russell. And you want to test yourself against the best. Oh, I get the feeling this group would have been looking forward to this a few weeks out at home against the reigning premiers. Let's test ourselves and see how we measure up against the best going around. There's a good matchup, Lewis, and Cyril's in the Happy. centre bounce, BT. Fantastic. It's all on. It's a fast track here tonight as well. Here we now, Virgil. Around the corner. Good kick now, Lewis. Plenty of space and time here. Great kicking team. What about that, to Gunston? Good a routine on the set shot as there is going around. Absolutely. He's very deliberate. He's got an absolute routine that is not broken each time, which is what I love about him. Settles in, uses his full 30. Long way out from 50. And that is why he's good. A chat to the Gold Coast Suns and I'll get back to you ASAP, BT. Oh, clean bold Russell on that occasion. Mitchell fast, hands Hodge. Needs support. Mitchell behind. He's a brilliant kick of the footy. Look at that. Almost lays out the Gunston. A little bit too much height in it. Now Roughhead picks up, spins onto his favourite left. And he just does that like a hot meal. Magnificent play, Jared Roughhead. Oh, there. Here's Virgil, one of their favoured left footers to Burgo, and is starting to get a lot of the footy. This one, a good opportunity for Bruce over the back. And Mitchell kicks a third consecutive goal for Hawthorne. Not sure whether Mitchell is lining up our cameraman here or not, but he took aim and just about got him. Mitchell, the extractor. Really good at getting it out of there. Roughhead with a long ball. Rioli gets back. Lemons, Rioli, great body position. Pretty hard to compete with that, isn't it? You can roll Gerald Roughhead as a... 17 points after 19 minutes. If Rioli kicks this, which I'm sure he will and he does. Isn't he? Straight back. That's a basketball yeah. skill as well. He got caught behind, but he, he got the contest Lock. and brought it to the ground. Well, it's a free kick to Hawthorne here. So a bit of a goal kicking fest going on here at the moment. This to make it eight collectively. His hail lines up and he's a good kick, good exponent of this. Just a 25 metre kick and that's pretty good. Back out to an 11 point Hawthorne margin. So, you know what, we'll back ourselves in against the best and try and outscore them. Here's Mitchell. Clever tap to Hill, but just a little bit of time and found space backwards with Gibson, but just out of range. Gibson to the top of the square. They line up. Opportunity is there. Thompson over the back, rough head. Just did it effortlessly. Brilliant play by the big man with less than a minute to go. As many balls at ground level as any big man in the comp. He wasn't used then as a marking target, so he turned around and he got involved at ground level and... Not all key position players do that. They're not all capable of doing it. He certainly is. I think it suits Ruffy better not having Buddy yeah. around. The tag right from the word go. Hey, guys, it wasn't long ago that if you were the best tackling team in the competition, you won. Hawthorne are last in tackles this year, yet they've won every game. How quickly the game changes. Here's Gunston. Quick little kick around the corner out of midair. It was just sheer brilliance. Have a look at the slow-mo here and Gunston going, no, I'm too late to get my hands on it. The best way to do this is soccer style. And it was a nail. Now McKenzie would do well to find the boundary line. Ablett went in, Buopolo, McKenzie, clever little soccer to Ablett, needs to get a hand on it. Couldn't, he had it pinned and he got a leg to it, which was pretty good in itself. Bruce gives it to the exciting Hill. Hill in space can go all the way. Two bounces, 50, 40, 30, closing. Didn't want to kick it, saw Cyril. And said he 26 point lead and Cyril for his second goal. He's well balanced. Hawthorne by 26. I think we all love seeing players running and bouncing. But Here we go. Just the poise there. Didn't blaze away. He's getting a, probably a little bit tight. Yeah, exactly right the way Louis plays the game. And Bruce forces the turnover in the end. And now the kick goes long. It's not well directed, but it's gone over the top. This gives Gunston a chance. It was made that it went over the top of. Gunston back to Mitchell. Mitchell just until tonight, the one goal. For the year he's got one tonight to go with that one and now make it three in total for the year
getting in amongst it there as well. Swallow late, little soccer out, deft little touch, got it on to Bruce. Bruce eases it, doesn't overkick it, and it's perfection. This is smart by Luke Bruce. This is why he's was leading the Coleman coming into this round because that was a contest that was six on six and he's thinking. Yeah, as you mentioned earlier, Rich, I think he's improved that side. Yeah. Bruce, the fend off. Never thought about the goal at any stage. Thought about putting it down the throat of someone. Shields got a good bump, but it lands in the boat of Suckling, who's one of the best. And a great finish. Great play by that man. He's hurt. He knew he couldn't take possession of the footy, so he laid it into the path of Suckling, who is a lethal the finisher. second half. Okay. Do you think that's uh, gone an, early. an injury situation, Lingy, or not? I didn't see an issue with Russell in the first half that would, would say that. I, I reckon they've just gone. Russell was having a great night, but they, uh, they think they can maybe get some run through Hutchins. Yeah, five touches for the night. An opportunity for Bruce. How good was that? The finish by Gunston. He kicks his third. Of Luke Bruce, it just never falls over. His opponent makes the, the Cardinals in the last to... three or four minutes. Big kick by Smith. Lewis got to the front. And got the whack was at Gunston. Gunston it was. Pumped him up pretty regularly. Gets a different grip on the ball, but it's so straight. Keeps everything straight as he approaches. And that is very, very straight with Joe. Couldn't bring it down. And now Hawthorne can surge in numbers. Roughhead, who only had one touch in the second quarter, over the head of Isaac. He's a good runner. They didn't want to let go. He's a real good runner. Is Isaac Smith? Wondering why. Umpire lets it ride as Burgoyne sets up out wide. Gunston. Back inside here to Simpkin. The activated sub. Long footy. Inside 50, off the hands of O'Meara, sharp hands, rough head, Shields almost threw it. Stripped by Harbrow, through the hands of Presti, it was just too hot for him. Simpkin gets another opportunity, Hill can go all the way, steps on the gas, 40 in closing, just to break the deadlock. Well, what about the uh, do, but they don't look like losing at the moment. And from what we're seeing everywhere else, it doesn't seem to be a challenger at the moment. Or Essendon so, are going. Geelong's the one, isn't it? It's yeah, it is. It's not without the possibilities. They're certainly good enough to do it, aren't they? It's only whether they're going to. As uh, Bruce dribbles one through for the Hawks to give them a 58-point lead. Well, if they were to do it, and we, we are getting slightly ahead of uh, the conversation here, it would be fit. They would blow that apart. Yeah. But Geelong are travelling beautifully as well. They don't look. Not losing either, so it sets up a big game. As we know, so much changes in, in the course of a year, and a couple of injuries. those were dummy spit freezer games, not just standard freezer games. Now that's where the 50s come. Oh, good knock down there by Hale, Puopolo, Simpkin, and Duray. Two of those on the edge for Hawthorne that are going to have to play well to hold their positions. Duray in the end, long footy. Roughhead was working his way to the front, now the side. Little underground ball from the rough. And Roughhead kicks his third. There's the rough, got the body parked in the right spot, and he benefited from his own good work. Just directed that spoil where he wanted it to go. Kick inside to Hill. Complete confidence now. Hawthorne to go wherever they want. A little one from Hill along the ground. Set up an opportunity for Simpkin. He too wants to get on the scoreboard as another contributor for the Hawks. Simpkin becomes the tenth player to kick a goal for the Hawks to haul. Thompson in front. The little spoil, rough head to Mitchell. Zigzag. Shields lines him up. Easy wasn't in the end. There's some games there though would certainly feel like they could win. That's a good good opportunity for them to regroup Das. Rough here, that's a good kick. Gunston has marked it. And Gunston, I don't know if he's a goal kicking oh. specialist, that man. And he's almost hit the he's, target. He's got it on to that target again. Brilliant stuff. King and Isaac Smith puts it out in front of Simpkin again. 
Look at that. Came on last year, did his job in the grand final. Taking all things into consideration. Mate, he's got a bit of a fan club now. He's saying, get out the way. Now, there it is. Now, I reckon it's a little bit of left to right. I think he needs to be just a bit further to the right. All right. There it is. It's coming back. It's, it's going to hit oh. the target there. <laughs> so, as Dars said, they haven't had a belting for a long time. Yeah. It's a bit of a, just a little mini backward step for them. And a free kick will go to Puopolo. This just, just gets the job done. He does. 15 seconds gone. Puopolo. There's the scoreboard that they are confronted with when kicking for goal. And another one. Hodge has got through this game, played virtually the entire game, so he'd be ecstatic about that. Here's Suckling, lets it rip at a low launcher from 55. Suckling. Now that, that's pretty sloppy by the Gold Coast Sunshi. You can't let the build up. There's Gibson. And if he's able to just wander down to that territory and let go, he's going to kick a goal and make you pay, and he did. So, Bluey, he wouldn't be happy with this. In a row. And they've got Geelong next week, who are giving the West Coast a walloping, and Alistair Clarkson happy, a pondering Bluey McKenna. The Hawks by a whopping 99 points. Seven, seven, 49 to Hawthorne. 23 goals, 10, 148. a powerhouse display in the end quite an easy win but was it like that out in the ground it looked like it was a fast contested game of footy did you feel as easy as the scoreboard suggested yeah probably the scoreboard played us as a bit it was in those conditions it's always tough contested footy and you can never get a proper grip on the ball and um yeah you see numerous errors um from both sides but um yeah, in the end i think we just made the most of our opportunities when we we're forward and you certainly took a, a heap of those opportunities ending up with five goals must have been happy but you, you weren't just forward you were down back they were throwing different looks at the forward line do you love that fact just mixing up the roles yeah definitely sometimes being forward you can, you can get pretty stale out there and um, you can go without touching the footy so it's all, always good to come down back and get on the wing and um i think the good thing about this side is we've got lots of versatility and uh, a lot of players so it works out well sensational effort tonight mate down and enjoy yourself well done jack yeah nice work lee what a ripper he is uh, jack Huston. it's just another one that just they recruit and they turn them into just out and out stars five goals 25 possessions and now plays defense wing and, and forward he's a, he's a complete player let's get back down to lingy he's got big rough with him i have got the big rough with me at the moment now rough you gotta, you gotta talk me through this you ended up with four goals were any of those shots at goal at the uh, the man holding up the big sign uh, with the target did you see that at all i saw the one where gunners had the one um, where he snapped around the body and i don't know where that bloke could have been but um, it's good to see some Hawthorne supporters up here on the gold coast well it was a good win wasn't it gold coast have been playing some good footy they're such a talented group they're quick and skillful you guys just didn't let them have a sniff at all you must be pleased yeah very much so we knew it was a danger game coming up here made it a bit of a fortress and uh, i think they've won the last seven games so to come up here and we don't come here often and a bit human for us uh pale skin friend but uh oh, mate, happy to get a good win and we'll get back to melbourne you did have the uh, the tubey socks on the arms uh mate, tried everything but just doesn't matter look at this <laughs> <laughs> richo might have mentioned that he thought the tubey socks had a better tan than your uh, skin that's a bit rough isn't it mate, surely you would have backed me up yeah absolutely mate straight to your defense <laughs> well done rough great job Cheers. He's one of the great fellas of, uh, of the game, Big Ruff. Good country fella. Hasn't changed a uh, moment since coming down from uh, Liam Gatter. Apart from now being one of the, uh, the great forwards in the game. There's his mate. There's the target. Yep. 
Clay Mitch, it's my first horse game. How about a photo or a footy? And he's going to get at the young man. Look at this. Uh, Mitch is going to go over to give it to the young man. And Dad's ecstatic and says, well done. Let's get back down to Lingy. Well, I'm with the skipper here, Luke Hodge. It, it's, it is humid out here. The, it was hot. Everybody's sweating. Everybody's absolutely dripping. Did you notice that when you were playing? It didn't really affect you guys, though. Uh, oh, you didn't know. As you could tell earlier, that, um, a lot of blokes had some, uh, a lot of fumbles and slipped through their hands a few times. But I think the message from there was rather than stuff around the handball, just get it going forward. And we've got a pretty dangerous forward line. So whether it's in the air or on the ground, they seem to do the work for us. Incredibly, that forward line had a heap of different players going through. Isaac Smith, he did it last week. But again, this week, Matty Suckling was up there. Obviously, Roughhead and Gunston. Must be great to have all those different options to go to. Yeah, I think that's the way footy's going. I think if you look at Sydney a few years ago, they had Goodsey, O'Keefe, Bolton, all rotating through. Joey Kennedy, Hoopy McGuinn. Um, so I think 2012, they sort of started and teams have just been up to follow. When's your turn? I want to see you one out in the goal square. Just get it into you. Surely you can tell Clarker. Mate, I've, I've been getting into Brendan Bolton, but it uh, doesn't matter where he coaches. I see him to be out of that spot. So <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll keep trying. See we'll get there at some stage. Well, well done, Hodgie. Thanks for your time, mate. Some great pictures there of Gary Ablett as well. Lost the game, you know, going up to the fans and just letting them know we're here and, yeah, he appreciates their support. Oh, it's so important up here trying to develop a new uh, territory for AFL footy and I love how uh, the Clark goes out there now thanking the Hawks supporters for coming up and he makes a habit of this yeah. now and one of the best innovations in footy was you know the players all giving out a footy after the game to the kids because everyone hangs around the boundary line hoping they'll get their turn to get a footy it's great and look yeah. at Lingy he's uh, now romancing with Hodgie saying do you want a coffee Hodgie <laughs> do you want a coffee I'll give you a latte of course the dogs did hand out in one game that I saw Dash your old mob Tea towels. We're on a tight budget back then, uh, Bristol. The old, uh, old Western Bulldog tea I think, towel. Here. I think Hawthorne is staying at our hotel tonight. Lingy will be stalking him oh, back no, at the hotel. He'll, be over he'll turn anyway. into a door knocker. <laughs> He's uh, lost the plot, Lingy. They completely lost the plot. Um, Lingy, you got to write a reply? No, he hasn't. He might have dirtied up, I yeah, think. He yeah. might have just pushed him too far. He has. Yeah, well, man. I, listen, boys, I'm hearing you, and I'm just choosing to ignore you because <laughs> all I'm hearing is just utter nonsense. Just hanging out with the old Geelong Falcons teammates, uh, Luke Hodge, and Gibbo's just stirring me up as well here. What is it about tonight? Just everybody hanging on me. <laughs> no, well, I guess everyone's heard about your, uh, your after-hours operation, uh, Lingster. Anyway, we're going to go down all the way with the song. I reckon this will be a... Pretty stock standard uh, effort uh, for the Hawks because they've got bigger fish yeah, to Yeah, they've won 11 in a row now and uh, winning becomes just part of the way this group uh, go about it. They are an extraordinary team in every sense of the word. But they are pretty happy, I think, in this state against an up-and-cover. They've just put them back in their box and said, we are still the benchmark to try and get up to our level. Photographers are locked in the centre circle. There's Spanger. He was subbed out with that ankle injury. Simpkin, the sub who came in next to him. 